We're here at H Mart, the Korean grocery store. Got Bella, Leah, JB with me today. H Mart is basically a Wajimaya, but the Korean version of it. I don't come here often because this area isn't an area that I shop at much, but when I do, you better believe we're eating some Korean food. So tonight we're gonna have some Korean, Korean barbecue. I'm gonna pick up some goodies and then head back home and fire up the grill. It's been a while since I've been here. You gonna help me push the cart today, huh? Okay, thank you. Go ahead, push the cart, please. You better be careful, girl. Always fresh green zucchini right here. Wow. Judy wants to make a zucchini dish that we ate at our friend Choco's restaurant in Koreatown. So I think get these two right there. Those two, yeah. Always notice at Korean grocery stores, there's always lots of soy milk. Is that a thing in Korea? Oh, crushed garlic? I've never seen this before. Whoa. Actually, yeah, I've seen this before, but it's never packaged like this. This is the party size right here. Do you hear the K-pop music? <laughs> Bella, Bella, are you, <laughs> what's up with your eyes? Come on, let's go. Sorry. Of course, right next to the soy milk, hella tofu. Made with whole eggs. Egg tofu? Oh, legit. It's an egg tofu. Juliana found some durian. I wonder if it smells inside of this fridge because durian has a pretty pungent smell. Ooh, look awesome. at that. You can get it already okay. taken apart. That's definitely the first time I've ever seen a durian fridge, which makes sense because you'd want to keep it separated. I've never had durian myself. I would totally try it, but you see videos on TV or documentaries about how it really stinks. And you know the other thing? I, I bet it's the texture that bothers people, really. This isn't quite Korean, but it's interesting how they have it presented. Snake River Farms Wagyu beef right there. I'm probably gonna buy that. Oh, what? $44 a pound? Dang. I love h Mart, but this thing, this is kind of ridiculous. It's closer to Seattle, so where we live, there's a restaurant that uh, sells Snake River Farms for way less than that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that, that up there. But I just think it's kind of fun this all together. Seems kind of unnecessary though. Naturally, they've got hot pot kits here. That's cool. They've got all the mushrooms. They've got leafy greens, maybe bok choy, cabbage, corn even, maybe squash and some kind of root vegetable. I don't see bamboo though. Fire. Is that bamboo in the corner? Maybe it is. Let me know if it is. Just like the Japanese grocery store, they have a lot of thin cut beef because Koreans of course do grilled steaks. This isn't really what I'm doing today though, so. I'm gonna skip out on that. What I am looking for is Korean barbecue, marinated short ribs. Come on girls, this way. Thanks, Juliana. We're in the egg section and the girls just found these quail eggs. I don't know how to eat these. Oh, they use those in the mini cooking videos? Let me know if you're Korean or you just eat quail eggs. How do you prepare quail eggs? Do you boil it? Make mini boiled eggs? Or is it for stews and soups? Curious. Because I imagine you don't make fried eggs with them. This is exactly what I was looking for, marinated short ribs. Sometimes it's hard to find this here because it gets bought up so quickly. All right, I'll probably get at least two packs of this, at least. Juliana found another hot pot pack. This one's got way more variety. I like this one because of all the different colors. Oh, those are my favorite peppers right there. I want to see what Leah does when I show her uh, squid. Hey, you want to eat some squid tonight? Hey, you want to eat squid tonight? Yeah, you want to try this? I don't want like that. You don't want it? I didn't know you could eat my squid. Yeah, you can. That's the real stuff right there. If you want QP, that's the packaging you need to look for right there. Looks just like this. Comes in the plastic bag, little baby on the front, the real stuff. Of course, the girls notice the toys or what looks like toys. You know what this is? Huh? The Jello. It's a jello. You guys want to get one of these? All right. Hold it, please, okay? Sit down. So, whenever I make Korean barbecue, these are my favorite items to buy at H Mart. All the side dishes that come along with a normal Korean meal, they 
sell them here individually. So some seasoned sliced squid. I'm definitely gonna get some of that. Some seaweed salad, definitely get a tray of that. Ooh, right here. This is my number one favorite, a sliced fresh cucumber. That's uh, in basically a kimchi. Another type of uh, cucumber dish is a pickled cucumber. In my opinion, this kind of what makes Korean dinner so fun is the variety. You're looking at the fishies and the crab? Those are lobster up there. And below that are crab. Do you want to eat those? No. This girl just always says yes to everything. Back to more side dishes. Looks like more of the same thing. I'm gonna get something that's not as saucy or spicy. Stir fried radish shreds. Hmm, that sounds good. This one I'm gonna grab is this. Seasoned spinach. We're good on the side dishes. It wouldn't be a Korean grocery store without the kimchi. We're talking this whole section, all kimchis. So we do normally get kimchi at Costco because that, that kimchi is really good. The reason I get it here though, is the fresh kimchi that they make in-house right here. This stuff is a little bit different because I believe it's made and prepared to have kind of like right away. So I'm gonna get one of these. This one's just a sliced Napa kimchi. I like the cube radish as well. So I get one of each. There we go, we'll get these two. Okay, oh, these are interesting. I bet these are good too. This one looks spicy, jalapenos in it. Pickled chayote. Huh. And never mind, this is what I was looking for earlier. Right here, this is my favorite right here. Cucumber kimchi. Thank you for being calm. Do you want to throw away that banana? Yeah, let's look for a trash. You've been kind of babying that for a while now. The rice section has doubled because they didn't have these shelves. The rice used to just be on the floor stacked up. This is way more options than Wajimaya. I'm kind of curious about trying these Korean brands, but I'm not familiar. I don't know what is what. They do have Japanese brands too. Is this for the Korean pancakes? For oh, eggs. no, literally for pancakes. Or eggs. Or eggs. Well, that's interesting. Eggs. They also have a lot of cooking tools, pans. Oh, you guys are looking at toys, of course. I forgot these turtle chips are Korean. Look at that. I think I saw these big boxes at Costco. Maybe the business Costco? Kimbap. That's the first time I've heard of this. I've eaten it. I just didn't know it was called kimbap. Ooh, kimchi kimbap, that sounds good. Tuna and mayo kimbap, we'll get both of these. This is what I was looking for. Korean pancakes. Maybe get a couple of these, huh? Ooh, kimchi pancake? I don't know, I feel like I should get this one. It is slightly warm. Ooh, pan fried chives? Getting a little out of control. But we got a whole bunch of people coming over, so we'll, we'll eat it all. Thank you, Juliana. <laughs> I think that's enough food for tonight. <laughs> I thought it'd be fun to look at these Korean snacks. I think these are just dried apples. Maybe a yogurt snack? They got different flavor Kit Kats too. I don't know if it's different, but Kit Kat in Japan just tastes way better than Kit Kat in America. You would assume it's the same company, but maybe not. The flavors are completely different. It, they don't even have that many flavors here in the States. But in Japan, they, they've got to have at least 100 flavors. Sky Flakes? Does this remind you of Mama? Mama always had sky flakes. Show us about this one. This is like a, the actual I didn't even know they had different flavors. Onion, oh, chives, man. garlic, cheese, flaxseed. You know, I think I've seen the garlic ones in the original at Mama's I saw, house. I saw the garlic ones at um, the professional the store we went to yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. One thing I'm gonna get here for sure, gummies. Somebody ate all my gummies. Which ones? All of them. Which Literally ones? all of my gummies got eaten that I Which bought ones? at that candy. All of them, like literally every single one was e either completely eaten or opened up and almost all like eaten. Japanese candy? Yeah, the ones that we got at the candy store. I don't see the gummies, but there is one type of gummy. If they had them here, I would be so happy. My favorite gummy that I had in Japan this last time, I love all the gummies, but this one was specifically really good. Juliana, if you see something, go ahead. You've been so good today. So we didn't find any more gummies or chocolate, but we found Sailor Moon drinks. Is this Sailor Moon? I think that one is. Is this the original OG Sailor Moon? Ocean Balm, mango flavor. Juliana, this is from Taiwan. Oh, look at this. Goku. This is a cartoon daddy grew up with. I wonder if this is also from Taiwan. Probably is. Product Probably of Taiwan, brand. yeah. 
Same company. Sad recently, the creator and the animator of uh, Dragon Ball, my childhood favorite cartoon, he passed away. I don't know how, but it's really sad. I grew up with Dragon Ball. I was watching Dragon Ball way before people in the States were because my grandma in Tokyo would record them on VHS and then send them to me. So I watched it, so it's sad. I don't know wh wh why he passed away. Rest in peace. Loved, loved Dragon Ball and Goku. Here you go. Yeah, we're looking for chocolate right now, Korean chocolate. So they told us where the chocolate is, but I'm kind of bummed. I was looking for Korean chocolate. I don't know if any of these are Korean. She's been loving all the K-pop that they've been playing here. Normally when I have any kind of Asian food, I like to have Asahi. Not this one, uh, just regular Asahi. Where is Asahi at? Oh yeah, right here. Asahi, but that'd be fun to try a Korean beer. So I finally found <laughs> some beer from Korea. This is the only one that I, I recognized. Oh wait, this is also beer from Korea. Oh wait, oh yeah, this is all the Korean beer section. I was gonna grab this brand and I saw these bottles and then I realized, plastic? I have never seen beer in a plastic bottle before. Let me know, Koreans, is this a good beer? Why is it different bottles? Just gonna get the darker one. I'm gonna get some Japanese beer too. Thank you, is that everything? All right, thank you girls for all your help. Any other parents out there relate? I'm exhausted just from shopping for food. Whoa, what is this? It's a Pokemon vending machine. That's pretty cool. Never seen that, but we're not gonna get that. So today's bill, just let me uh, disclose, this dinner is not just for us, so seven of us. We have two other people coming, grown adults, nine people total, 218 bucks. We got a ton of food, we'll have lots of leftovers. Some of the stuff I bought was just for dinner. I would probably pay more if I went to a restaurant. Bubble tea? No, we're gonna go get it at our friend's bubble tea. Better bubble tea. Oh yeah, I said I would treat the girls out to bubble tea today. Our friend Ralph. His bubble tea shop does fruit smoothies, so. Come on, Bella, let's go.